Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Let's talk about Sri Lanka's economy. Now, to gauge the health of any economy, we often turn to indicators such as the stock market, GDP growth and unemployment rates. But these can provide a snapshot of the overall economic performance. They sometimes tell a partial story. Now, the World Bank predicts uh, Sri Lanka's GDP growth in, uh, to, to rebound in the coming year, showing signs of progress. However, there are deep-rooted challenges that still needs our attention. The question is, are we going in the right direction or are we doing the same thing, hoping it will give us different results? Let's get some data on this subject. For that, joining me now uh, is Imran Furkan, economic, uh, economic analyst uh, who joins me uh, from the data board. Imran, good to see you uh, here, man. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, join me uh, today. Now, what do you think about Sri Lanka's economic trend? Do you think that we are heading in the right direction? Well, um, as you said rightly, Mahesh, um, we, we are, it's a, uh, a story of two parts, right? So if you look at uh, inflation numbers, we're now at single digits, um, you know, um, a lot lower than the 60% we had somewhere last year. But that's the rate of inflation. That's the rate at which it's, it's growing. But what you don't see is that the, 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 the value of goods and services, the purchasing power of the individual has come down dramatically, right? So the, if you take the index of 2021 where, where the purchasing power is at 100, today, uh, even though inflation is at about a single digit, that particular index is at 190. So that's between January 2021 and now, the price of goods and services has almost doubled. Um, and, I'm, I'm, and if you ask anybody, they'll confirm to you that their salaries haven't doubled, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So therefore, what we're having is that the purchasing power of the community has diminished by half. So the quality of life has, has gone down dramatically. And, and unless we tackle that issue, yeah. I don't think people are going to feel economic growth. Indeed. Uh, in addition to that, um, if you look at uh, 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 trade, right, at least this is merchandise trade, uh, not necessarily services, you see that uh, over the, the period of uh, January to July, July is the last uh, month for which we have statistics and we'll have, uh, you know, the August one very soon, uh, we can see that there is a reduction, um, particularly in our exports to our key markets, right, um, and we have an overall reduction uh, you know, in terms of, of uh, the exports between uh, last year um, yeah. and the same period this year, about uh, almost, uh, you know, 11, 12% uh, 11, of that. And that's a bit of a worrying sign because A, last year was not a good base for this, right? Yes, we were yes. in trouble. So we're taking a lower base and then we are performing worse than that. And then I think that is a challenge that we need to address. Now, there are reasons for this. Obviously, the main reason is because of the fact that in our key export markets, the US, the EU, they're going through a very difficult economic times due to higher interest rate. But uh, that also, sorry, yes. No, I, I was uh, just to say that apparently, uh, I think they actually reported around 1 billion uh, uh, sales of uh, exports uh, for July, in, the, the month in, of July. The, in the last month yes. uh, on this matter. Yes, yes. Um, I think uh, that's a, a very good sign, and I think we saw some of that even even last year. There were a few months where we made a, a, a billion, so that that is month-on-month, -month, uh, um, you know, change. But I think what we need to focus on is a lack of diversification of our exports and also our key markets to which we diversify, right? Um, and we haven't really tackled the need yeah. to to go to places like China, increase uh, you know uh, engagement with India. Um, and I think we need to work on that. I think we're working on some of the free trade agreements, but I think we need to work faster than this. Absolutely. Because if we have a low base than last year and we are performing worse than that low base, I'm really worried about how next year is going to be like. And we need these dollars in terms of exports. Absolutely. Now, uh, uh, institutions like uh, uh, Bloomberg is not exactly giving us good indicators saying about the future of Sri Lanka's economy because they're continuously predicting that they, things could get uh, worse from now onwards. And uh, even, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, we've been talking about this fact that uh, the rupee might hit around 355. That's what they're predicting. But uh, let's see what happens and hopefully that it won't go to that level because I think more than 350 was the time that uh, former President Gotabe Rajapaksa had to leave uh, his office uh, last year because it was really bad for the people. All right, uh, Imran Farukhan, uh, economic analyst uh, at the data booth. Thank you very much for that.